Hi, I'm Martine LaDuke. Hi, I'm Ginger Rem. And we're at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve to bring you life science at a, at a social, social distance. distance. Today we're going to look at some of our native vegetation in Florida. This is our Florida state tree, the sable palm. You'll hear some people call it the cabbage palm. And I think it's a pretty good state symbol because the Native Americans called this the tree of life. They used so many different parts of this tree for shelter, tools, food. Um, our migrating birds eat a lot of those little black berries that have the seeds and help to disperse the seeds. Um, the Native Americans would use the palm frond um, for roof, for their roof of their chickie or their hut. Uh, they would use little strings that you can pull off of the palm frond. I have some here and they could braid it and widen it together and make fishing line or rope from that. Even today some people eat a part of the tree called the heart of palm. Of course you have to kill the tree to get the heart of palm but it's about the top three or four feet if you would cut the trunk right through the center is a really tender part that you can eat and it's nice and crunchy. This is a very slow growing tree. From germination till less than a foot tall, that could take 15 years. And then it only grows about six inches a year. So I would estimate that this tree could possibly be 90 years old. There's some ways that you can identify the sable palm. This is one of the palm fronds that must have fallen off. You can see that it's a fan palm because the palm frond makes a fan shape, but the sable palms are folded in half, kind of like the shape of a taco. You can hold it like a taco. The other way that you know that it's a sable palm is this section of the palm frond goes right through the middle and makes a sharp point going right up the middle of the palm frond. I remember the name sable palm because this kind of looks like a light saber. Saber and salt sable kind of sound the same. So the point going through the middle will tell you that it's a sable palm. If we look over here, this looks like a young sable palm tree. But if you look at the fan-shaped palm frond, you can see that it doesn't make that point going through the middle, and it's not folded in half like a taco either. Another characteristic that tells me this is a saw palmetto and not the sable palm is if you look down here, there are little saw's teeth going up right here. And that's where the saw palmetto gets its name. Another characteristic that helps you to identify the sable palm are these. These are called boot jacks. This is where the palm frond breaks off and falls to the ground. And most sable palm trees will hold on to their boot jacks, but sometimes they naturally fall off. So legend has it that the cowboys, when they would camp at night, they'd get ready for bed, they'd take off their boots and they'd hang them up here so that the snakes and other critters wouldn't get in during the night. So they say that's why they call these boot jacks. This is also a very resilient tree. It can survive floods, it can survive cold, it can survive heat, it can even survive fire. We do controlled burns here at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve and you might notice that some of the trunks of the sable palm tree are black. The boot jacks have burnt off, but the trees are still able to survive. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the state sable palm tree, our state tree. You can see these trees everywhere, so maybe if you get the opportunity to walk around your neighborhood, you can look for those. Or you can come to Boyd Hill. Thanks for watching. This is Martine LaDuke at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. See you next time.